but we're yeah, already absolutely. kind of feeling a little summer like in town. Outside we go. Take a look. This is Universal Studios. You can see the clouds on the build, and uh, in just a few months we'll be talking about big thunderstorms this time of day. We're not quite there yet, but we're bringing more moisture on in. 87 warm degrees in Orlando. We're in the 70s along the coast, and we've got clear skies, all courtesy of that sea breeze. I mean, look, 77 cocoa. It's 87 in Orlando, 87 degrees in Sanford. As we check in with our first alert Doppler radar, we're pinpointing some of these showers. As a matter of fact, right here across Umatilla Northern Lake into Southern Marion, that's where we're watching a new little pop up uh, shower, kind of a downpour, honestly. And we're going to be tracking this as it works over toward Paisley Forest Hills, working at about 20 miles an hour or so. So we're moving into Altoona, 621, Lake Catherine, 640, and Mosquito Grove at about 645. Just to the south of there, a few real small sprinkles here right on the Four Corners region. And these are going to be moving toward Disney World celebration after we already had a quick passing sprinkle there. Even a few sprinkles up here around Windermere and Gotha. Today, we made it to 88 degrees. The record was 90. So, yes, hot. But not record setting, all courtesy of this uh, south southwesterly breeze. Now, that southwesterly breeze slows our cooling tonight. So, 82 degrees, 7 o'clock, we'll be watching that sea breeze, trying to develop a few showers. 78 by about 9 o'clock, 75 degrees, with fog beginning to develop around 11 o'clock tonight. Overnight lows look like this 67 in Groveland, 66 in Leesburg, 65 degrees Lady Lake, about 66 in celebration. We'll be talking about a few pockets of fog around, especially tomorrow morning, if you've got early. Early morning plans to be up for morning services. 65 Wakiva Springs, 68 in the city, 66 in Pearson, and about 65 degrees Daytona Beach, 67 for us in Melbourne. That said, tonight we of course have to deal with those uh, foggy conditions. So that's something we're going to be keeping a close eye on for you. Not dense, but certainly something to watch. Here's 8 o'clock tonight. Models indicating that uh, West Coast Sea Breeze kind of popping up a few more showers around Volusia and Brevard counties. 11 o'clock, even the Cape, seeing a few of those showers continue. But there's that shield of fog beginning to settle on in. It looks like from about I 4 up to the north and west, best areas to see it. It all burns off. There's lunchtime. Bright sunshine, looking great. And then as we kind of have a frontal boundary moving in with the sea breezes, could see a couple of pop up showers tomorrow, though I think it'll be a bit drier. So the bike week forecast looks great. 74 tonight, 65 to wake up in the morning, and then tomorrow afternoon up to about 79 degrees. If you're heading to the beach, seas running about three to four feet tomorrow. Watch out for that moderate risk of rip currents and water temperatures still in the 50s and the 60s, so a little chilly out there. One more warm day, then that cold front moves on in, kind of dropping those temperatures just a little bit for your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Next chance of rain after tomorrow will be Thursday.